SOLIDWORKS has the capability of extruding or cutting text on a part model. Depending on the desired results, you will need to choose one of the following methods. I've sketched a rectangle with a spline on one side so that I can extrude a solid body and show some different options. To start, I'll open a sketch on the front plane and use the sketch text command to write a word. My personal preference is to always draw a line where we want the sketch text to reside. Be sure that that line is entered in the curves section of the command. I'll change the font size so that it's easier to see. One of the first methods is to use the extrude feature. This method will simply take the wording and extrude it outside of the part. That's okay for flat geometry, but it doesn't serve us well for curved surfaces. Let me change the direction of extrusion. In this example, we'll show how to offset the extrusion from a surface. Change it from a blind extrusion to an offset from surface. As I highlight the surface I want to offset from, I need to choose a reverse offset so that it extrudes it outside of the part and give it a value. As I hit OK, you'll notice that the extrusion is offset from the surface that I selected. Let me delete this extrusion now and show you another method. After confirming the delete, Click on the sketch, go to the Insert pull-down menu, hover over Features, and click on Wrap. It'll now ask us which surface we'd like to wrap it on. I'll select the top surface. Here we have three options, Emboss, Deboss, or Scribe. For this example, we'll use Emboss. We'll give it a value of 0.1, and click OK. As I zoom into the extrusion, we'll see the difference between the wrap and the extrude. The extrude extrudes one direction. The wrap, after it projects the wording onto the surface, extrudes each letter normal to the surface. Therefore, each letter has a different direction of pull. If I edit the wrap feature, we can actually choose a direction of pull. For example, if I zoom out to the part and click on the bottom face, I can tell it to have a direction of pull normal to the bottom face. As I click OK and zoom back into the wording, you'll see that it's now extruded in the same direction. For the third example, we'll go back to the extrude. I'll delete the wrap feature, and then I'll change the sketch. I'll change the plane that the sketch resides on to the new plane I created outside of the part and hit OK. Before I extrude, I'll have to use one of the surface tools to offset a surface.
Now I'll select the sketch, click Extrude, and I'll choose an end condition of up to next, and hit OK. To finish off this example, we just need to trim the letters. We'll use another surface tool. After cutting or trimming the letters, I can now hide the surface body. As I zoom in, you'll see that this is much similar to the first example, where I had the sketch on the inside of the part and extruded out, offset from surface. These same concepts apply if you need to cut into the part. If you ever need to change your lettering, you can always go to the original sketch, edit the sketch, hover over the words, and when you get your cursor feedback with the letter A next to it, you can double click. At that point, you can come in and edit the text.